Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. We are in the woods and we are looking for something to make a nice tea out of. This is spice bush. Now if you take these leaves and you smash them, you smell a wonderful spicy aroma. Now they have berries on them, red berries too. A lot of people think they smell like allspice and you can use these too. They use them to preserve meats for all kinds of uses. If you made a very strong tea out of this, used a lot of leaves and stems, you can actually produce sweats to get toxins out of your system. They used to use this when you had a fever to spike that fever and get the stuff out of your system. Now, nature provides. So I'm gonna make us a tea out of this. I was gonna make sassafras tea. Mom, when we were kids, would send us out to dig the root up. She'd take them and suck them off. And you can tell the leaf, it's usually a lobed leaf. It looks to me like a catcher's mitt. But with sassafras, they have found that large amounts of saffron oil can cause cancer in rats. Well, I'm not a rat, but you gotta be careful about things like that. So I'm not gonna recommend that you go out and get some sassafras to make uh, tea out of or any other thing. Now, they used to use sassafras to flavor root beer. When you smell the leaf or smell the root of sassafras, it has that root beer smell. So today we're just gonna gather some leaves and some small branches, and we're gonna make a tea out of this that has a nice, wonderful flavor. Put a little bit of honey in that, and you can have a wonderful tea. Now, Nikki is a tea drinker, so tonight's show's kind of all about Nikki. There's one thing she loves to eat anywhere we go. She loves to have kind of a Philly steak type thing. She loves steak with onions and green peppers and cheese and horseradish. So tonight, oh my, we got something good for you in the Dutch oven. But I'm gonna gather some of this stuff up. We're gonna take it back, make a little tea, and we're gonna don our cowboy apparel and do a cowboy cooking segment. And we're gonna make you something wonderful in just a second. Smash it with a wooden mallet. Gonna educate your palate. What are you making? <laughs> That's nice. You know what that is? It looks like a big hunk of Swiss steak, I don't know. Flank steak. Flank steak. You know what? Beef is getting pretty expensive, so we want to be as frugal as we possibly can. You know what I find fascinating and fun? Being able to go out on a piece of property and gather up stuff and come back and make something out of it. I notice you have leaves. What are you making? A fan for yourself? Um, oh, well, let me show you something. This show's all about you. Really? I know how you like your tea. Okay. Smell that. Yum. What is that? What do you think it is? I don't know. Spice bush. Spice bush. You know what? It's pretty commonly found. It's also got red berries. Okay. A lot of people think it smells like allspice. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the leaves. Now, if you were going to do a bunch, and you could you could leave this in the refrigerator just like you're doing iced tea, you could do this, and it would keep in the refrigerator for a couple weeks. You can also, a lot of people take these leaves and the twigs and they set it up on, like, have you heard of sun tea? Mm -hmm. Where they, like, set it up on the counter where right. it gets a lot of sunshine and let it seep out into that. Now, you don't want to dry these leaves, because if you dry these leaves, it'll have a bitter quality to the tea. So you want to use the actual leaf. Now technically you need about, if you want to fix a big batch, you could use eight ounces of leaves to two and a half quarts. And you can use the actual leaves. You can use the twigs, the stems. Hmm. We're going to use both. We're going to use just enough to make us a cup of tea. And I'm going to put honey in it. Why don't you tell me how you like this? Oh, that sounds good. I got a bunch for you there. Now, while we're doing this, I was thinking about you. Okay. When I came up with this recipe. Really? Flank steak, you can do so many things with it. It's got a great taste. You know where flank steak comes from? No, I don't. Let's take a look at a recent segment that we did about butchering cattle. And let's see where the flank steak comes from real quick and what it's good for. It has a great taste. Look at the, get a little bit of fat in it. And on this side, we have our flank steak, which is a great steak for fajita meat and just uh, for your grill. what the cut looks like once it's ready to go to the grill. This was about that thick until we banged it with wooden mallet. <laughs> and we're gonna roll something up. Really? All right, everywhere we go, it doesn't matter where it is, you have a common theme. You either like a really, really good burger. Mm -hmm. I've watched these things. I, I like my red I meat. I know what you like, you like your red meat. But there's something that I've noticed. You may not even notice it. What? Think about what you get almost every time. If, if we're limited to fast food or any sandwich shop. A Philly cheesesteak. Exactly. <laughs> we're gonna take this. You're gonna need some butcher's twine. Okay. We don't have a whole lot. I hope we've got enough. We've been using it. But we'll, well, 
Let's get the tea going first. I don't want to tell okay. all our secrets yet. We're going to boil this down for about 20, 25 minutes. You'll start seeing that water color up a little bit. If you used a really heavy concentration of this, a really, really heavy concentration of this, it would cause you to sweat profusely. So if you had toxins in your system, and I would mm. imagine if somebody tended to drink a lot, okay, and felt really bad the next day. That'd be good for you? Uh, that's, an old, that's an old wives' tale that it would help you with a hangover, not that we would ever need anything like that. That's right. So we're gonna let that go about another 15, 20 minutes till it starts getting some color in there. Okay, you ready to try some spice push tea? I am. Looks like tea. Wow, it's already got a color. I think that's enough for a cup. Is that good? Let's see our color. You know what? That has got the most. Smell that. Yum. Is that not interesting? It smells good. Let's get a cup. Here's our mug. Here's some honey. Is this your honey? It's our honey. Are right, you ready to try it? Mm -hmm. Look at the color there. It's a beautiful color. Beautiful smell. This is readily available on our farm. Honey. And you saw the shape of the leaves. There's a lot of stuff that looks like that. And can you think of anything more natural? Can I try it? Mm -hmm. It'll cost you a dollar. A dollar? I don't have a dollar. That's good. You That's like really it? good, yeah. Isn't that good? We can have a tea party. I like that. I'm kind of shocked how good it is. I am to tell too, the actually. Truth. Wow. So wow. readily available. Look it up. Spice Bush, go out on your property. If it's not your property, you might want to ask permission. <laughs> I'm just saying. Spice Bush tea, how about that? Delicious. All right, now what we're going to do, since tonight it's all about you. Well, I actually have a surprise for you. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it's, it's something to do with fall, but it's sweet and it's got. You want to know what's in it? Give me, give me a hint. I don't have to know the whole thing. Mm, let me think. A hint. Well, you know how you there's, you like your sweets. You mm -hmm. like candy. There's mm -hmm. like there's a candy in it. And I like where you're going there. It's fall, so it's got harvest stuff in it. So you'll see. But it's very sweet too. It's good. Mm -hmm. I like where you're going. Yeah. Now that these are separated, I'm gonna. All right. Now let's go start our Dutch oven. Okay and make this a wonderful little treat. Yeah. It's all about you. Okay. Hey, did you bring me some lard? I did. Doesn't look good. I did bring you lard. 